What's big and wet and located 400 miles beneath the United States? Hey everyone, I'm Karen for DNews, and today we're talking about what could be the largest water reservoir ever discovered on planet Earth. Actually, it's, it's in the Earth, and it's not really liquid water, but I'll get to that. Scientists from Northwestern University and the University of New Mexico have made the astonishing announcement that there appears to be oceans worth of water stored in the Earth's mantle approximately 400 miles underneath most of the interior of the U.S. It's long been speculated that water is trapped in the transition zone, or the area between the upper and the lower mantle layers of our planet, and scientists have actually been looking for it for decades. This work, published in the journal Science, provides the first direct evidence of it. So what is this evidence exactly? I mean, the deepest holes we've been able to dig are mines in Canada and South Africa that are around two and a half miles beneath the Earth's surface. We're talking about going much, much deeper than that. What researchers have found are actually deep pockets of magma, which is a clear indicator that water is present too, although not in the liquid, solid, or gas forms that we're familiar with. This is actually a fourth form of water, where the hydrogen and oxygen are trapped in the molecular structure of minerals in the rocks. We're talking about enormous pressures here. Think about the weight of hundreds of miles of solid rock. So the high pressure, combined with the extremely high temperatures that you find closer to the Earth's core, cause these water molecules to split off and form hydroxyl radicals that then bind to the crystal structures of the minerals surrounding them. This discovery proves that it is possible for water from the Earth's surface to be driven down to great depths through the processes associated with plate tectonics. And these findings will provide scientists with a greater understanding of how the Earth is formed, what it's made of, and just how much water is trapped inside of it. If just 1% of the weight of mantle rock in the transition zone is comprised of water, this would be the equivalent of three times the amount of water in all of the oceans combined. Just a mind-boggling amount. For me, the biggest question is, what does this all mean? Is this water ever going to become a usable resource? Will we somehow be able to tap into these vast water reservoirs, especially seeing as fresh water is a resource that's rapidly declining in today's world? Well, it didn't actually answer that, but seeing as we are quite unlikely to ever physically get close to it, my guess would be no. But yay science! So what do you think about all of these results and the fact that water comes in a fourth form? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe here for more D-News every day of the week.